it's november everyone and still you don't have a plan for your neat 2024 examination if this is the case with you guys it's high time you need a plan you need a concrete plan so that you can crack your neat 2024 examination if now not then never forget about your neat 2024 seat if you are not going to wake up right now so what things you have to do i am going to show you stay with me till the end of this video so that we can figure it out at this particular time what things are needed and what not so first of all let us talk about the daily routine what should be your daily routine if you are a dropper then you have plenty of time yes or no so number one thing let's suppose that you wake up early in the morning around six o'clock so from 6 a.m to 7 a.m what you can do is that you can take one hour to freshen up you can do yoga you can do meditation you can take those hours to you know prepare your mind for so long study after then but there is one problem sir i wake up uh, late in the morning so what if you wake up 10 o'clock then 10 to 11 you do uh, take time to freshen up do yoga do meditation make your mind peaceful okay and after then start your studies first of all start with those chapters start with those topics which you feel that you are very much stuck in that let's suppose any chapter for physics or any chapter for chemistry or any chapter for biology which you feel that you are not able to read it properly you're not able to grasp the concept properly first do this chapter give that chapter give that topic three hours and when you have completed the whole chapter when you have completed the whole topic after that take one hour again and solve the question right away guys don't wait for the evening don't wait tomorrow don't wait day after tomorrow don't wait for sunday solve the question right away because if you're going to solve the concept concept based questions right away your brain will be trained and you will be able to remember things for much more longer period when you're going to solve questions afterwards half of the concept so you have forgotten then what's the use of solving the question right so solve the question right away till then till 11 o'clock if you follow this type of routine your one topic your one subject for the day is completed after that what take a break yes break is very much necessary if i'm going to say you study for 16 hours continuously no one can study 16 hours continuously so after 11 am take a break for one hour and in this break what you can do is that you can just take uh, have your lunch or you can take some snacks you go out in your terrace winter is coming so you can just go and enjoy the sun all those things you can do in this one hour after that one it uh, once it has been done then what you can do after this start the second phase of your study again from 12 to 3 pm from 12 to 3 pm you can take chemistry if you have done physics in the morning then take biology now like this you can choose your subject so 12 to 3 pm suppose that you have taken biology right 12 to 3 3 hours you have given again similarly when you have given this three hours take one hour more extra and solve the questions of whatever the topic you have studied right done after this what after this again take a break four to five is a very golden period you should go out talk with your family talk with your friends go roam in a park see topper doesn't study for a very long hours it they study for number of hours but they take lots and lots of breaks so break is very very necessary you need your mind to be you know peace so that new things can enter into your mind don't stress your mind so take a break, chill pill, play cricket, play volleyball, whatever you love, do it in this 4 to 5 pm. Once done, come back to your home again from 5.30 to let's suppose 8.30. Have this third slot and in this third slot, whatever the subject is left, maybe you have taken physics in the morning, biology in the uh, afternoon. So take chemistry in this particular time period. If you have taken biology in the evening and... Uh, uh, chemistry in the morning so take physics at this at this particular segment right after this again from 8 30 to 9 30 again what you have to do you have to practice the questions right done with the questions done with your day now you can enjoy so see so so beautifully you can you know arrange your day plan your day accordingly and you can manage all your three subjects yes or no now what about the subject divisions 
so if you are a dropper you can follow that but sir if i am a school going student what we should do dropper to can manage all the three subjects in one day but school going students can do what let's suppose you are coming uh, home around 3 o'clock right so you can start studying from 4 yes or no from 4 pm to 7 pm you can study one subject like suppose biology or maybe physics you have studied physics right okay great now after that what sir after that you have told to take a time for question so yes 7 to 8 let's do the question practice and once you have done the question practice then here you will be little uh, confused that break will not be much bigger as the break is taken by the dropper so take less amount of break once you have done from then take half an hour break from 8:30 to 10:30 you'd give your second sitting and from 10:30 to 11:30 you do the question practice this is the routine you should follow if you are a school going student now i am giving you the monthly targets which you have to follow guys i have made this monthly targets previous year also many of the students have followed and those students who have followed it very consistently they are sitting in the medical college because these are the chapters they are logically based the arrangement the sequence is logically based analytically based everything i have searched that which chapter has more questions which chapter ha- is having higher chances of questions which is going to come in neat 2024 so these are the chapters which i have kept in red zone and you have to complete it before before 24th december if you start it if you start it from 10th november also na you will be easily able to complete till 24th december so remember it that you have to complete this target here the chapter is genetics biotechnology molecular basis of inheritance in this channel we have completed the genetics i'll show you the link in the description you go 14 videos genetics ka hai and those 14 videos are those kind of videos that you don't need to watch any other video in this world those 14 videos are more than sufficient then we have biotechnology molecular basis of inheritance we are going to start it from monday cell unit of life organism and population evolution animal kingdom bio molecules biotechnology and its applications human health and disease cell cycle and cell division we have done we have completed cell cycle and cell division within 10 to 20 minutes from the mind map series this is also very good video you can watch it if you want to revise cell cycle and cell division the best video on the internet you can have so these chapters you have to do till 24th of december after that i am giving you the another set of targets this before completing this before starting this i should say take what take a little break okay when after 24th of december take a little break Uh, how many days you can take break you can take break for 5 days like from 26 26 to 31st of december you take a break during this break what you can do is that you can pr- practice mock tests if you are going to give you the mock test then what is going to happen you are going to able to recognize your weak concepts you are going to able to recognize which type of questions you are making wrong right so these types of things you do in the these 5 days celebrate christmas celebrate new year and after that again come back here and start with the another target from 2nd of january to to 15th of march 2nd of january to 15th of march guys you have to complete this because if you are going to lose the targets how you are going to complete your syllabus right so till 15th of march you have to complete this in this list the chapters some of the chapters are also there which is not coming in neat examination don't worry i'm going to provide you the list that which is not coming in the neat examination right now i have written this so here digestion and absorption is not coming right plant growth and hormone plant growth and development may vernalization is not coming dormancy is not coming i have made the list right now i'm going to show you wait a second before that before that list let's have what to do after 15th of march after 15th of march we have some other chapters also so we have to we have to complete those chapters also so take from 17th march from 17th march to 1st april practice and complete these chapters right so again you are getting two days extra if by in case you are not able to complete these chapters two days extra has been given to you 
complete those left out chapters in two days at any cost and then start with these chapters on 1st of april your syllabus will be complete and you will have one month of revision what to do in revision i'm going to tell you in another video but before that let's take these screenshots of the removed topics which you don't have to study guys this you don't have to study taxonomic aids angiosperm secondary growth in anatomy transport in plants whole deleted mineral nutrition whole deleted seed dormancy vernalization not study digestion absorption whole deleted next we have sense organ deleted reproduction in organism deleted strategies for enhancement in food deleted succession in ecology deleted and environmental issues deleted so ignore these chapters if they are present in this list just skip it just skip it okay clear so i hope that this road map is very much clear to you complete this road map follow it blindly i will make you a promise that no one can no one no one can say that you won't be getting 360 out of 360 if you are following this particular series of the chapters so i am wishing you all the very best and start it as early as possible